And welcome back to the Boomy Temple in White Marsh. A very, very special night. We'll get to the Orioles and the Rays and Kevin Gossman's first win. But this is the uh, uh, eighth year for the Ken Singleton Celebrity Golf uh, Outing and all to benefit the Cool Kids Campaign, one of, without question, the premier ch uh, uh, charities in the state of Maryland. And Kenny's with me right now. And Kenny, you... You don't have to do this. You did not have to get involved with Cool Kids, but you did, and now this is just a huge part of you and Suzanne's life. Well, it certainly is, Keith, and the fact is this goes back a number of years. Uh, of course, uh, 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 Mark Belanger, great teammate of mine, and Robbie, his son, is on the board, and they asked me years ago if I would join the board, and I said, yeah, and eventually the, the tournament came out of that. Uh, each year it's gotten bigger and better. This year we're gonna have more people than we've ever had before. Uh, Chris Federico, the president, is a big time involved with this, and uh, it's just a, a fantastic uh, situation tonight. And I'm very thankful that a lot of people come out and still support me. Uh, the fact is, I haven't played here in a very long time, but I know that uh, several of my former teammates are here. Eddie's here, Doug DeSense is here, Scott McGregor would be here. Uh, but Dennis down, Martinez. Dennis El Presidente is here tonight. So we're, we're going to have a lot of fun with a lot of my former teammates, Tippy Martinez, Ross Grimsley. All of them are here tonight, and it's going to be a good night. There's a lot of cool events for the cool yeah. kids this weekend, but the highlight, of course, is is the next two days with golf. <laughs> a little competitive, but but uh, uh, how competitive is it? I mean, everybody loves to play and loves to win, but you got to put it in perspective. Well, well, there are trophies involved. <laughs> so, so the fact is if you win, you're going to get the biggest trophy in second and third and so forth. But the fact is I think everybody has a great time. It's not so much about the competition. It's about the cause, if you ask me. Uh, when you have a chance to support kids who are uh, suffering from the dreaded disease of cancer and help their families out as well, I mean, that's why I'm in it. You know, I, I certainly would like to win, but the, the fact is that's not important to me. If one of my teammates, they can have bragging rights at least for this year. But, <laughs> but the fact is that uh, it's, it's for a great cause, and uh, we get a lot of support from people all over the country. Right, real quick, mm -hmm. you broadcast Yankee games. Yeah. You're still an Oriole at heart, I know. Your take on the uh, 2016 Orioles? Well, uh, the Orioles, well, they're in first place. You can't get much better than that. I, I know they hit like crazy. That's number one. Uh, I, I really think they do need one more pitcher if Dan Duquette's out there listening. But, uh, you know, from a Yankee standpoint, and believe me, fans, I have a lot of Oriole and orange and black in my veins, but the Yankees have paid my bills for, 20, <laughs> for 21 years and, and sent my kids to college, helped send my kids to college. So uh, my job's easier when the Yankees win. But I don't know if they're going to be able to catch the Orioles this year. Interesting, yeah. interesting. But we got some fun tonight. We're going to play yeah. some Family Feud, <laughs> and I hear your team is favorite. So. Uh, well, I don't know about that either because I've watched the Family Feud, yes, so but, I, but I've never played it. So. And I'm not Steve Harvey. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kenny, thanks, buddy. We'll get Keep, back here in just you. a second.